With picture irrigation, round porous clay pots are buried in the soil near the crop and filled with water. The water seeps out slowly through the porous walls of the pot and reaches the roots of the plants. As the plants consume the water, more water will seep out of the pot. In this way, the pot provides exactly the right amount of water needed for the plants. I will now show you how to make your own low-cost pitches. Select two identical unglazed terracotta pots and seal the drain hole in one of the pots using masonry adhesive. Apply a bead of masonry adhesive to the rim of the pot. Carefully position the upper pot directly above the lower pot and gently press the pots together. Allow 24 hours for the adhesive to cure. To install Pitcher Perfect irrigation, you will need the following components. Pitchers, rubber grommets, poly pipe, barb poly tees, and a storage container with lid. I will now show you how to install Pitcher Perfect irrigation. Bury pitchers at appropriate locations in your garden so that the root zone of each plant is within 30 centimetres of at least one pitcher. For each pitcher, insert a 13 mm rubber grommet into the hole in the pitcher. Insert a 13 mm barb poly tee into the 13 mm grommet. Make an air inlet by connecting an 8 cm length of 13 mm poly pipe to the tee. Select a suitable storage container and drill a 16 mm hole as low as possible in the side of the container. Insert a 13 mm grommet and then insert a 13 mm barb poly tee into the grommet. Connect the outlet from the storage container to the pitches using 13 mm poly pipe and 13 mm barb poly tees. Fill the storage container with water until water starts to overflow at the air inlets. Refill the storage container when the water level is at the same level as the outlet. Here are some key features of picture perfect irrigation for smallholders. Unpowered, very low cost and simple to install, uses less water than any other irrigation system. Irrigate an unlimited range of crops at the same time. Water usage responds automatically to changes in weather and crop requirements. And finally, if you can afford a float valve, then you can leave your garden unattended for months on end.